This video has been funded in part by the Guild via Patreon. Check out the links in the description or at the end of this video for more details. Game provided by NIS America, dude. Hello everybody, my name is Chris Kildart, and welcome back to another Pros vs. Cons mini-review. Strategy RPGs and tactics-style games are a fine art. You really need to balance all of your mechanics in order to keep the player going. If your combat is too boring, or if your strategy isn't complex enough, people just won't want to keep playing. This has happened with a plethora of SRPGs in me. I've started up so many and either the story, action, strategy, or characters aren't interesting enough for me to keep playing. But there's one game series that I can always rely on having a good balance of everything, and that's Disgaea. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have never actually finished a Disgaea game. I also haven't played one or two. But every time I've picked up a Disgaea game, even when it's a spin-off, I've always had a good time. So, with the sixth entry releasing on Switch in the West, I am diving headfirst into some SRPG goodness. I am so excited to play this game, so I don't want to waste too much time, but before we get into that, don't forget to give this video a like, comment with your thoughts below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. No more delays, let's get into Disgaea 6. Alright, ready, set, pros. The first thing I have to mention is the graphics. I know, real shocker for me. But if you're a fan of Disgaea, you probably already know why. Disgaea has always been known for its immaculate sprite work. Every character is so well drawn and you can tell that love and care was put into each pose. But Disgaea 6 goes full 3D. And I have to say, I think it really works well. First off, going full 3D allowed for a lot more flexibility with the camera. I always feel weird with these isometric SRPGs, even though I have had enough experience with them at this point. Point. In Disguise 6, if you click the right analog stick in, it will change the camera to make moving your cursor along the grid much easier. I do prefer the isometric view, but this just helps my brain. As well, the 3D models look really good with the special attacks. They're all animated so well. Every special move has personality put into it, and I just love watching them. I never skipped them because they were that great. It really reminds me of what Arc System Works does with their games now, but it's not quite as stylistic, and that's honestly not a bad thing. It still has the same feeling as those animations. If you were to look quickly at somebody playing in the isometric view, you might think, oh cool, nothing has changed. But when you look closer, you'll see the difference. Another Another quick thing I need to mention is the voice acting. I always love when the Japanese game gets released with English voices. I've been burned too many times by other games like Samurai Warriors and Neptunia Virtual Stars. Knowing NIS has my back as a severely monolingual person is great. This game also has an autoplay mode for conversations, and with the quality of the voice acting in this game, if you close your eyes you might think there's an anime playing in front of you. You still get static character portraits, but I think the expressiveness of these is just perfect. Would I replace them with actual anime cutscenes? Well, yeah, but am I going to complain about it? No. The way that these conversations are done, I am enthralled in the story. Speaking of which, what's going on in the story you might be asking? Disgaea is always a great trip. A good mixture of comedy, action, and anime over the top slice of life in a hellish dimension. Disgaea 6 delivers all of this on a silver platter. Zed, our main character, is a zombie who lives with his sister in the lowest part of the netherworld. Their uneventful life gets flipped upside down when the god of destruction swings by the neighborhood. To protect his sister and their home, Zed sets out on an adventure with his zombie dog Cerberus to get stronger and defeat the god of destruction. How is he getting stronger? Super reincarnation. How does it work? Well, it's kind of like a Saiyan who gets beat to near death coming back twice as strong, except Zed can actually die. They use this a lot in the story for their comedy beats and everyone hits so well. My favorite moment has to be when you are fighting a character that was supposed to be a hero, but after being defeated so many times by the God of Destruction, reviving, being defeated, reviving, you get the picture. He decides he doesn't want to be the hero anymore, but he has the royal blood in his veins, so as long as the king lives, he will too. But I'll just let the scene play out for you. Really? That's good to know. You don't intend to kill me, do you? Oh, that's a good idea, too. But I have something better in mind. If he revives no matter how many times I kill him, then he's perfect for grinding experience! Yeah! <laughs> I absolutely love this game. 
There's also one DLC story where you unlock a previous Disgaea character where Zed gets hit by our good old friend, Truck-kun. You can tell the writers were just having fun, but not just for them, they wanted the player to have just as much fun as they were. And I can tell you right now, I am having so much fun. Though the story is chock full of great comedic moments, the main thing you're going to be having fun with is the gameplay. This is where the real mastery of Disgaea games comes to life. Like I was saying earlier, the balance of an SRPG is incredibly important. Important. You want your strategy to be deep enough that the player feels instant satisfaction when they execute a great turn, but you also want to keep the action going throughout combat so the player is still interested in continuing to play your game. Does Gaia 6 does this so well. Like most strategy RPGs, the player and the enemy take turns moving their units around on a grid. Certain weapons, attacks, and special moves will be able to hit certain panels depending on where the character is positioned and facing. If your characters have built a good enough relationship and are within two panels of the attacker, this will cause a joint attack. The attack doesn't look any different when you do this, but it will deal more damage. And this is where the real strategy kicks in. Your characters will always be able to move within the same amount of panels as where they started that turn until they execute an action. Unlike most strategy RPGs where either a character's action happens as soon as it's input or when the player finishes their turn, Disgaea allows you to set up actions, execute them, and still move any characters that didn't take any action yet. I didn't get much footage of myself doing this because I thought it looked better for from a viewer's perspective to just see all the action happening, but when I wasn't recording, doing this was extremely satisfying, especially when you are able to take out a bunch of enemies by properly placing your units in ways that achieve that joint attack without leaving certain characters unable to make an action. Disguise 6 also provides the player with additional ways of grinding out levels. One way is auto battle. Do you just want the computer to take over because you need to brew up some tea? Set your characters to auto battle. You can also take this a step further by using demonic intelligence and setting specific actions you'd like characters to take while on auto battle. Do you want your clerics to heal when needed rather than attack? Do you want your fighters to aim for the lowest health enemies first to lower their numbers faster? You can set all of these and more with demonic intelligence. I haven't dived too deep down this rabbit hole yet, but I imagine many people would love to try and build the best auto battle system to take on the hardest difficulty stages. Lastly, to help with grinding, you can also auto replay stages. Do you want to grow a couple hundred levels while you're away at work? Set up demonic intelligence, auto battle, and auto replay. Make sure your switch is set to not turn into sleep mode while you're away, and BAM! Your characters will grind until the cows come home. I actually did this one day while I was just getting ready in the morning. I set up auto battle on a relatively easy stage while I was cooking breakfast, getting dressed, and freshening up to take on the day. By the time it was over, I had leveled up quite a bit and it was nice to come back to that. You can also set it up to skip animations and speed up combat so that you can go through more stages in a shorter period of time. It's pretty freaking awesome. But that's all the positives I have so far. Now it's time for the wrath of the CONS! Alright, I'm gonna be honest. This con section is going to be pretty small. First thing I'll mention is the menus. I find at times it can be cumbersome to navigate, especially within the shop. The only way to see the effects of a new piece of equipment is to try it on. There's no quick glance method to this. I wish there was a way that you could set which character you'd like to equip something to and scroll through the entire store to quickly find the items you want to buy. As well, when you're on the battlefield, usually pressing B will cancel your last selection. That's not the case here. In order to cancel an action you haven't executed yet, you need to hover your cursor over that character and hit B. This in itself isn't a bad thing, but if you're not hovering over a character, I think it would be a good idea to just cancel your last action. But if you're not hovering over a character, B just does nothing. Speaking of combat, I do wish these stages were larger. I'm only three or four worlds deep into this game, so the stages could get larger or more complex. But sometimes it just feels like these stages aren't long enough to really satisfy me. When I get into a strategy RPG, I usually expect the stages to last around 20 to 30 minutes. In Disgaea 6, they might reach that time if you also count conversations and preparation. Most stages have only taken me 10 to 15 minutes. Here's hoping later stages prove me wrong with this. Finally, something that I've noticed with a lot of Japanese developers is a lack of opening cinematic. I love these, especially when it's a full anime opening, complete with musical cue, visual cuts, and over-the-top action. If you're able to get some bump J-pop or rock, you're in serious business with me. That's why there are so many discussions about what's the best Warriors opening. Starting up Disgaea 6, seeing the NIS logo and just going straight to the main menu is incredibly disappointing. It really doesn't affect the game at all, but it always affects my hype. 
I was really looking forward to playing Disgaea 6, and although that fact didn't change from a lack of opening cinematic, it did dampen my excitement a bit. In the end, Disgaea 6 is exactly what I wanted and then some. I went in expecting a strategy RPG experience with on-point comedy and I ended up getting a deep tactical combat experience with incredible characters and a story that keeps me coming back. Disgaea 6 was an absolute blast to play and I will be finishing this one. The auto battle feature will really help someone like me who's always busy working on his next project. While I'm working, I can have my characters working as well. Then, when I'm able to play the game, I'll be able to take on the God of Destruction himself! I really want to see how Zed overcomes this obstacle. I want to see what new companions and friends he'll make along the way. So with all that being said, I give Disgaea 6 a thumbs up. Nothing could shake me from this. Disgaea 6 is absolutely solid, and any positives push the negatives away instantly. Sure, I complained about the stages being shorter than I wanted, and that the menus were a little bit hard to deal with at times, but these things never dampened my experience for me. I always wanted to play more and keep going. If you get a chance to pick up and play Disgaea 6, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching my mini review of Disgaea 6. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Disgaea 6. Also, which Disgaea was your first? If you'd like to help support the channel and what I do here, you can join the guild like these awesome people that you're seeing on screen right now. You can join them at the end of every single video for just a dollar a month. There's other rewards and other tiers as well, so check out the links that you see on screen, and I will see you all down in the comments.